Greetings everyone, my name is Flare Blitz here, and welcome back to Sound is Toxic. You've seen by the title that all endings are within the video, and today I'm going to show you all how to get each of the 10 endings alongside with the secret ending, which is supposedly the good ending of the game. Because rather than there being 10 endings, which I thought initially was going to be the thing, it, was, it is actually 11 endings. So 10 endings plus the secret ending. So that's all going to be within this video, and that's going to wrap up this game. But I have to say, but first and foremost, this is a really, really nice game. But I'll give my final verdict of everything in full when we get there. Okay, so, new game. So, the first ending is... Don't proceed with the dialogue, just... Where it says here, here is where the game begins. Just go to options, and then quit the game. That's all you have to do to get to the first ending. And the one achieved. So now we're going to proceed to the second ending. And actually the second ending, in comparison to the third, first one, sorry, is a lot more simple to achieve because it's just simply clicking buttons. Yes, the warmth of the bed is sacred, but maybe you need to put your adult head on for a bit of time the light. Until you get home, obviously, from the day. But all you have to do to achieve the second ending is Sleep it off. I think I won't miss much today. This cold in this day is unbearable. What if I get sick? Yes, this is for my own good. I better not go anywhere today. Today doesn't see, even seem that interesting. It will be just like yesterday. Boring. Usual. Filled with broken dreams. Screw it then. I won't see today's class. All my friends. I won't bother even. I shut my eyes and hurry back to a comforting, warm and lovely snooze. From which I will awaken to a day of movies and TV shows. Real fun stuff. We didn't get to see those shows though. Because this is the end. What an end would everyone like to be cast upon? You know, you know, you shut your eyes and then you never wake up again probably the most peaceful way for a departure. Okay, the third ending is slightly similar to sleep, but we have to give it a long pause on one particular text of line. You think? I better not make it long. Uh, may accidentally sleep in. Just wait. Just wait for a little bit of time. Waiting. Waiting. A lovely wait indeed. Hmm. There we go. <laughs> Uh, I would say out of all the endings in the game, the first and third one are definitely the hardest. I better not make it long. Well, you just did there, unfortunately, light. <laughs> so, we've got the first ending, the second, and then the third. I better not make it long. You've had an unexpected sleepy morning. Indeed, so it's not as nice as the second one because the lights are off on the second one, the third one. Yep, definitely do 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 say. Okay, the fourth one is much later on in the game. For the fourth ending, just pick add a very loud drop. All of these lead to this one anyway, so this is the only way to progress on with the game anyway. So just add a very loud one. Although I would advise just turn down your headsets just a little bit for this part. The loudest drop that anyone would want to hear. This will be the legendary moment in which dubstep is redefined. This will be the moment in which my life will change for the better. The money, the fame, and the book. Well, in my imagination. And play.
Oh dear, Lalite, what have you done? Corrupt. Nobody is there to pick up your call. Please try again in the next eternity. What follows after this chapter contains scenes related to very sensitive topics like depression and suicide. If you have any trouble with that kind of content, then please do not so don't continue playing. Thanks for that note. So, for the fourth ending, you could continue with the story, but with the fourth ending, it is related to the fact that you don't want to see this kind of content. So therefore, just pick, no, I want to stop playing. Very well. You can stop playing now. What you have seen has never happened. And you never played this. Thank you for finishing the first two chapters. This could be like where the demo ended or something. I'm not quite too sure. The end. You see? You see that now? What did you play? You declined your exposure to disturbing content. And I should have mentioned this when it happened, but with the first ending, you can only achieve it if you have not made it past uh, the point of what did you play. Because when the red text comes up, it means that when you click on new game and then you see that shadow of Lolita at the start, that means that you can't actually exit out of the game when it says that and here's where the game begins. Just a little side note there, so if you do end up having that issue where you can't actually get back to the beginning of the game and when the game starts non-horrifically, go into your app data folder and remove the persistent folder within the sound as toxic file and also the persistent file within the sound and toxic, sorry, sound as toxic game folder so that the game will start fresh. Anyways. Move on to the fifth ending, which is a bit later on in the game from the fourth one. Rupert is one big creeper, so I decided I'm not going to play the rest of the game just to get to this point, you know? We're just going to get to the part that is necessary. No! Expel me! I don't care. I won't do it. So, expel me. I don't care. I will report you to the police, weirdo. Hmm... How naive of you, sweet Lelate. I am the police. What? You're not. You're a liar. Look, you made it easier for me to just end this. I'll kick you out of school. You'll never see your friends anymore. And you will suffer a great deal of trouble over it all. I don't believe it. You're not a police officer. I'm going to report you now. As I pull my phone out, he reaches with his hand and places his own phone on my ear. Here you go. It is dialed to one of the officers I know. His name is Tre Treasury. As I hear the beeping off the phone, I see him raising his hand with a golden badge hanging between his fingers. The badge was real, and his name was there. I don't want any trouble. I've got enough on my plate as it is. When the beeping ended and the voice of a man came up, I pushed Rupert's hand away instantly. Nothing you can do to change anything. I've got a lot of power, girl. Okay, okay, I get it. Just leave me alone, alright? Hang the call up. I don't want any trouble, okay? Now, how's that? Shouldn't you have just said yes? Pity. I really want to enjoy your company. Turns out you're cold. Rupert, do you even know what you're saying? Get out of my sight and don't even bother coming here tomorrow. It will be bad for you and your friends. 
Rupert walks away and leaves this floor. It ended here then. Just my luck. I'll wait and breathe for my heart to calm down. How is he a police officer? Since when? Why does everything have to suddenly fall apart? My friends, at least I can see them out of school. But how am I going to explain this to my mum? She will probably think I'm being crazy again just like I am with the sounds. What the hell do I do now? Fine then, who cares anyways? This school wasn't even a great place to begin with. And her view of the situation doesn't matter at all. I at least have something left. My dignity. You go, girl. I turn away and leave the school. This is the worst day ever. I wish I could go back and fix this somehow. But life goes on, I guess. The end. A few months after what had happened, I haven't figured out what the use of his sound ability is. But something else has occurred. Something I think to be the cause of my current mood. Things got worse. Okay, so this, I believe, is where ending six is, which is called dollar underscore achievement underscore six underscore dollar symbol. Things got worse. The static became a lot more strong. The visions were a lot more hard to handle. And the voices were too loud. My mum had given up on me after the first month and had started to think that I was insane. I've seen her making these calls all the time about how she wanted to put her daughter in some mental health hospital for treatment. And that broke my heart. Mum doesn't mean much to me anymore. In fact, Ugh, dear, poor the light. In fact, I don't see her as my mum at all. And as my best friends, the people I'm sure would always be there for me. Blue, she left the city to continue her career making art. The art that she had worked on for so long in the past succeeded, and now she is a well-known person. And as for Zandra, she, she left the city too. To where? I don't know. But what remains right now is just me. And the horrible sounds. I don't want this anymore. It has become hell for me. I wake up every morning. I say I wake up every night and morning just to hear that screech of that static, and then I would see red visions and awfully nightmarish things that always follow. My mum would then come up to the stairs and shout at me for being delusional, like that's my fault. What have I done wrong? What have I done wrong? If you ever read this, I want you to know that you have failed me. I won't ever forgive you. Not even in the afterlife, if there even is one. I don't want this anymore. I can't take it anymore. Everybody has left me. Everyone has abandoned me. I am alone. I want to just go. The sounds will finally end. I smile in joy. I finally have control over them. I won't hear them anymore if I do this. I stand up, look ahead, and... Not defined. Doesn't matter which choice you're gonna put in.
That was both endings five and six into one. So you got expelled from the school, but then because you got expelled, the events that transpired to ending six occurred when everyone abandoned the light. Very dark, very effective. And unlike getting ending 10, where the game rebuilds and the load saves go away, when you get to ending 6 and rebuild the game, the save slots don't go away. So you have this choice here, try to fight it or succumb to Rupert. Now this is probably the ending which would make you expel a whole lot, just because it's very dark and very creepy. Right, so you get this option called Succumb to Robert, and you probably think from the first time, but it's an invalid response. Just keep clicking on it. Huh? Actually, why don't I visit him? I'm so dumb. Rupert means everything to me. Yeah, indeed. The light file is corrupted. How can I not say yes? I have to visit him soon. Oh, I'm so excited. I feel so happy that someone loves me. I'll dial his number now. Thank you so much, Rupert. You are the best. No, he's the worst. The worst of the worst. Glorious. Ending 7, I love him. You've agreed to Rupert's propositions. Poop positions, more like. Okay, so... The 8th ending is a bit later on in the game, so I will get back to that when the occasion arises. So for ending 8, you want to ensure that Rupert doesn't actually transpire into the afterlife. Or whatever it would be that he goes. So... The theory behind this is, is that it's sound orientated on the game. So you want to ensure that if you want to survive through the game, you want to base your assumptions based off of sound, not because of personal desires. So if you click, I could only touch them because I wanted to, it's just basically your own instincts on that rather than following the logic of the light's newfound power. Could it be if I only... Because I wanted to? I'm not sure about that. So, then if I could touch the things I want to, I should be fine with this plan. I should convert his voice into a binaural recording first though, as that's what made the SMR, S, ASMR one work. No, it's because when I talked with Rupert just now, I couldn't touch him even when my eyes were closed. His voice wasn't 3D. Now I know that. In that case, I must take all these things I've learned into account. Here's my plan. Since I was able to touch the AMS ASMR lady through her voice only, then that gives me freedom to do whatever I want. Ugh. In my case, I want to try it with Rupert's voice. I will attempt to... dispatch him. And as scary as serious as that sounds, I know there won't be any consequences for that. But the chances of him to actually end up dead are nearly zero. In fact... Below. You can't even get below zero, okay? Unless you're talking about temperatures. I will do this nonetheless. Starting to get a weapon to use. Go downstairs. Find a knife in the kitchen. We've been through this already in the game. If you haven't seen it, then I think it's my second video of this game. Of this Let's Play. So we won't look at all of this. We know... Yes, multiple instances. I've also recorded all these endings chronologically, so therefore you can see the silhouette of the light in the background. What happened to me? When has this happened? Whatever. I haven't slept probably yesterday, so... I can't take any more of this, I don't feel okay, let's just get this over with already. That wouldn't have occurred if you didn't actually click on decline the rules or expelled or agree to Robert's proposition. 
will not take long at all. Lovely, lovely times. Mm, do it in the morning. And wait for your mother to go to work. So that you could do this without looking suspicious. Put my headset on. Hibernated. Get that. Get that. Do, 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 do. Yes. Yes. Do everything. Do everything as I do this. I take the knife from beneath the mattress and I'm really tired by it. Yeah, perfect spot. Do that. Everything like that. If anything happens to him, you will be dead in my classroom. And yes, the experience will terrify me, but at least I know it's possible. The ability can only, the ability can only give me so much. Run the audio. Yeah, so distant because it's not actually there. You need to make use of your ability. Hmm. It needs to be in an audio clip so that you're just hitting him. Indeed. His voice is not broken. On going. Leaving, she doesn't reply me. She's still asleep, but no matter. Yeah, it has not worked at all. You will not need therapy after this. Actually, you, you may need therapy because of Rupert. Do do do. And all. Oh, please don't be dead. I don't know what's up with my sudden change of thought, but I kind of regret this now. Sure, he harassed me, but I'm not sure death is a justified way to go. Sleep at the door. Hello. Uh, thank God. Hey there. Whoa, what's up with your distressed look? Need any help? No. That's fine. Why don't you go sit? I'll make sure today's lecture is short so we can get on afterward. Get on? What do you mean by that? Oh no, I wish it had worked. I wish she had died. This is not good at all. You're a mature teenager. You know what that means. Sure, you're nervous again. That makes it better. This will happen, okay? So be ready. No, don't do this, please. Hey, I'm in control now. Let it happen, and we'll move on. No lights! Feelings have crashed! So go seat. You'll be alright. Nothing will be all right. Nothing will be all right from that, okay? I got, yeah, so there's R, then there's four other symbols after that. I think you can guess what that's actually trying to say, but I'm not going to say it. I'm going to leave that to your imagination. I got R, then everything else besides that. Eek. He failed to assassinate Rupert. And obviously, if you agree to the other option where you convert the, the file or the knife sweeting into something that is audible, then that would actually succeed. So, the ninth ending is a bit later on in the game. For ending nine, you wanted a client Treasury's proposal of taking out what we find out later on is blue. So, we do not want this. And I'm pretty sure that if the light discovered out who Treasury wanted dead, then the light would definitely decline this regardless. I don't want to do this. I, I won't take it. I will not kill. That's not who I am. So naive. Miss Ermra, please follow me outside. The light, where are you taking her? The light, calm down, ma'am. She is a suspect of witchcraft and a murderer of over a thousand victims. No! Yes. Did you see all those files? All 1,400 and something of them? Surely you don't want that, do you now? Prison! Not a place you want to go to. That's all. Okay. Endings. Number nine, prison. You wanted prison instead. So you're thinking, what is the tenth achieve? Well, the tenth ending, and it's similar to number six, 
But the tenth one we have to do the unfortunates of eradicating blue by picking the other option instead. Which is one of the worst things you could probably do, really. Do this. The world is going distorted. I wonder where Blue might be. She's been very hidden right now. I've been looking for her for ages. Oh, the pain in my head is awesome. No, it's not even awesome. Why the heck do you think that pain is an awesome thing? <laughs> the game is trying to decline me from going into the room. Oh, day two, is it? Where is she this time? Sad face. This is where the game resorts to emojis. Oh dearie, now she is disappearing into the fuzziness. Oh, day two, uh, day three is it, sorry. Where is she this time? Smiles. I doubt that would be a smiling occasion. Oh, day four is it? A little bit blizzes this time. Meh. And day five, she will be bleeding from her eyes. Oh dear, day five, stop. What the heck is going on? Please stop. Don't do this to me. Blue is in the arts room. Let me see her now. What do you mean by no? I'm doing this regardless. Meh. I'm going to puke. Stop this. Don't do this. Get out of my head. I approach the door and walk in quickly. Blue, save me please. I beg of you. Also, just as a side note. This is necessary for the secret ending. Save me please. I beg of you. Please. Please. Smiley's! I love emojis! I don't like that though. Imagine if they put like the Windows XP ever sound into it. Don. Yeah, she pretty well is, unfortunately. Are you done? Absolutely not. I have more work to do here. What are you going to do? Do you think you can change anything? Yes. Let's see. Meh. Sit down. Oh. <laughs> she, she's there. She's... <laughs> How? Did I do that? Was it her? Hmm. I killed my friend. Haha. <laughs> I must do something. I can't just live anymore. I have to... Ugh. Again? I have to end it. Do I get another chance? Please. Huh? Do I? Please. Help me. Anyone. Please. I will do something about it. Choice one is a null. Is anyone there? Please. Do something. I beg you. I don't know what's going on. This is not right. No. I. I must end it. Don't do it. I will help you. There is no one there for me. What am I doing? I must end it. And that kind of refers to ending six in a way, but in a different approach. No one's abandoned you, but yet you killed one of your two best friends. I turned the lights off. I'm sorry, Mum. I'm sorry, Blue. I'm sorry, Xandra. I didn't want to do this, but maybe I'll get another chance in the afterlife. If only saving and loading was a thing. Ironic, isn't it? I smile. I finally have control over something. Try again. And this time around when you rebuild a game, the loads are removed.
We do not so we build files from backup. This is what you come into every time you go into the game from scratch. File restore. Well, that size for restoring is actually for building. Files installing. Rather than saving the corrupted and putting them back into the pure. Although, there will still be traces of the game's corrupt state in other areas, such as the options menu, for example. If we go to controls, no, options, look at everything with these boxed question marks. That is horrific in its own right. So, we've gotten all of the 10 normal endings. Now I'm going to show you what it takes to get to the true ending, the happy ending. The ending that is, well, it does not involve sleeping, being tortured by your school teacher, or decline yourself from exposing anything from ending five onwards, or removing your own life from existence, or going to prison. Anything like that. So, what's going to happen now is that since everything has been removed, we have to go to a new game. Don't worry, this is intentional. It just means that you can't go back to where you first started. That's all there is to it. And as I said earlier, just as a reminder, you can only get ending one before you make it to the you've declined your exposure to disturbing content point in the game. If you witness the event where the headset basically blows up the lights hearing and stuff like that, that's when the game goes red of all sorts. Dear, 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 dear. But also as well, I'm going to be including in this little thing any sort of abnormal occurrences. Oh jeez, what was that? That felt kind of odd. Perhaps I was wake dreaming. I don't know. Though I would love it if I could just somehow skip past the stuff I see every day. Every day, okay. But of course, I wouldn't want to go past the new and interesting bits. If only there was a button for that. A button that skips the stuff I already know and stops me right before those that I don't. Would that be too much to ask? Probably. Well, all you have to do is, if you have already got the switch on, by, by the way, is that if you want to skip past all dialogue, then just switch it on. But if you want to let the game stop at any point before any new content, then just simply switch it off. Just literally switch it off so that when it comes down to it, that skip button is temporarily disabled. I just hope something new happens today. Hmm? What is this weird feeling I suddenly have? It's like I just realised I was wrong about something. What the hell is it? It's like deja vu. But that doesn't make any sense. Has... Oh my god. Rah. I don't know what you're going on about then. I remember Blue telling me that she's in the art class. She must have quite a surprise based on her message about the painting. Since when has she ever touched a canvas though? I must be too distant from her if that's the case. Nice. What's this weird movement in the room? Yes, leaving traces of a corrupted save file, dear Injon. What is this weird movement in the room? It's like my eyes are shaking. Don't see anyone. What? So, what's up? What are you doing around here? I thought you were a music girl. I just got into this. The painting stuff. It seems like I have some knack for it. She speaks with a lot of enthusiasm, but I wonder where she gets it from. That's very surprising. Where did, when did you start? I don't know when I started, you know outplaying the game and figuring out an exit from this hell.
you trying to leave me a hint of some sorts? I mean, saving the game. Yes. Hmm? Why does she stop all of a sudden? Is she trying to get to my attention by silence? Because if she is, she's doing a good job. I open my eyes to see her. Half expecting to see her face staring at me. Oh dear. This again? We've already been through this, you know. Meh. Multiple instances indeed occur. When two different things try to run at the same time. The hell just happened? Okay, that's perfect. But... Huh? Yes. For this segment, we want to ensure that we get deep down into the knees of things, which is, we want to ensure that our sort of bond with Xandra is high. And this also accounts for the final playthrough as well, which we'll talk about later on. But as this is the second playthrough, you get the option of staying at the school a bit later on. Who is it? No, I don't think... Anything matters, as long as you take out as Yeah, so... Ignore what I said about Xandra's uh, friendship with us being high. All I'm going to do is just... Skip past this. But this is an important note for the next time we play this game. Yes, stay. Stay, please. This is important for recording Rupert's... So, for Treasury's voice. I'll stay. I'll stay. Hope today passes quickly so I can get back home and try making a track. Because later on we're going to get two decisions whether to dispatch Treasury or dispatch Blue. And obviously we want to dispatch Treasury because Treasury is related to not Blue but the other character. Careful kid. Oh, sorry. It's fine. Are you, f are you a friend of... Hmm. Hmm. Record his voice. Record it, man. Stop. She will be next. Indeed. So you're saying she will be next, as in, there already was one that transpired, and that was Blue. And now soon it will be Xandra's turn. What is this weird feeling? I can't get it off. It somehow feels as though something has happened to me before. Why do I suddenly feel afraid? Why is this odd wind that's hitting me? See the silhouette in the background? Yeah, that's what happened. Reminds me of Siori from um, DDLC. I can't put my finger on it. But has something happened to my room while I was out? I suddenly feel a heavy throb in my head. Ugh! What's going on? I sigh and go back to what I was originally doing. Oh dear! What's happened now? I was only going through the day until I saw Blue look like this. Lovely. Lola? That name. I got off a chair in an instant and... We don't know. It won't be nice. We don't as well. But... I hope to God that they're guilty of something at least. Not that the thought makes anything better. And he mentioned I... Ugh, when did that happen? Was it just bluff? What does he mean that I'm a serial killer that my mum warned me about? If I recall correctly, I'm sure something weird happened this week before school started. It was like I woke up from a long rest. Something like days long. My mum also acted oddly. For whatever reason, I decided to check my laptop's audio files. I opened a file where I kept all of my recordings. There should only be Rupert's and Ivan's. That's not possible. There's... There are 1,346 files. When did... I never killed anybody other than... What is going on? Damn this game. What is it trying to do? Oh my god. When did anything happen? What the hell... What must the game do this to me? Done. Here. The audio file should contain a sample of her voice. Huh? 
sharp and do your dirty work. I have no time for questions. But that's on tomorrow night. Kill her and I will never see you again. Okay. But... We do have another option though, since we record a treasuries file. Just like with Rupert, I decided to kill this person in the morning before school. I want to be done with this thing for good. I don't want to kill anymore, in fact. I get myself ready. And for this to work, we will have to select kill treasury. It's time to nyeh. I won't let this happen again. I won't let her nyeh again. I play his voice file instead and be I'm ready myself to end his life. This should solve everything. Nope, it will not. It won't do that, unfortunately. You dare to run the game off script? Just forget about them. You can't save anyone. I have a nurse to speak to Blue. Something tells me she might be the one to calm me down. Xandra has always been dark and depressed, and I don't think I need that now. I need someone who's always happy. Blue? You here? Hey there. How's it going? I was just about done with my artwork. Do you want to see it? Oh no, I'm just happy you're here. I mean, I would love to see the artwork, but can I talk to you? Well, that's odd. You usually never sound like that. Do you want to sit at least? Indeed. I... This may sound crazy. I just want you to know that you are in a g You don't... You cannot play off the script there, unfortunately, the light. The game has a script to follow. I have been struggling to get out of a bed since the last hour. I didn't want to go to school today, but Mum was against it. Though there was one thing that worried me to the point where I have to go to school. Sandra has been absent for three days. Blue was, ne was well, Blue never was able to contact her, and the same goes for me. Every call throws me into a voice mail, and I was starting to feel uneasy. And because of that, Blue and I came with a plan to visit her unannounced. I walk downstairs and head to school. As soon as I was on the third floor, Blue rushed toward me. Lolite, I have some good news. I got a message from Zandra. What? Really? Oh, thank God. What did she say? She said that she was fine and was going to come back soon. Gosh, Lolite, you have no clue how relieved I, I was when I heard that. Phew. I was really nervous. I'm so happy all of a sudden. Also, did you know that Zandra's last name was Reen? Treasury Reen. I... Blue, can I see that message? Please? What's wrong? Did you remember something bad? No! Sorry, I mean. I need to see it. Okay. Blue slowly hands me her phone with the text from Zandra already opened. It reads, Hey, Blue. I know you and the light are very scared about my disappearance. I was very busy with something. I am fine. You need to forget about me for a while. I will be coming back to school next week, or maybe next month. Please, don't worry about me. Forget me. Not forever. Xandra is not defined. You will see me in no time. Xandra Reen. Lolite? I... I have to go. Lolite? Where are you going? I think you know what happened there. Blue was killed. Lolite took her own life. But what did Xandra do? I approached Xandra's home. In me is the heaviest feeling of guilt. I just killed Xandra's father. Really? Treasury was Xandra's dad? And was Xandra being such a sensitive person? Will this end well? Already circling my head was were the worst of endings for Xandra. I just hope I'm in time. She must know. She has to know the reality. Her dad wanted Blue dead for whatever reason, and she must know. I knock at her door. Xandra! Open up now! It's the light! There was no sound from the other side. 
It was like the house had been abandoned. It seemed dark in there behind the curtains. The best just because Xandra likes the dark. Right? Right? I have to break into her house. I tried to open first to see if the door was even locked. It wasn't. I walk in. Shut the door behind me and sure enough, it's very dim in here. Xandra? I walked upstairs to see if she was in her room. I can't do this anymore. I, I, please, let it be different this time. For some reason, I instantly felt a chill when my hand touched the doorknob. I open and walk in. The same as the light did, actually. I don't... I don't understand. Why am I here again? Why won't it change? You. I know now. I remember. I've been stuck in this... Shut up. I won't let you fix me. I know now. I've been stuck in this... Nah! I have been stuck in this game for a long time. I understand. I was thrown in here as part of a ritual. And my goal was to get out. Hey. You. I know you are the only one who can help me. Please. What's your name? Alright, Flair. The game will try to reset itself again. I need you to remind me when it resets. Here's what we'll go with. Um, just, just hold on a second. I put a, a choice at the start. So I put a choice at the start. Choose it. Okay? Don't forget. And it does that. Don't worry, I won't, I won't forget. I won't duly forget. But you did see what happened to Zandra there. And that's no good at all. Oh, it again. And that was our second playthrough. The first one, it just goes through unconditionally. The second one, you have to kill Treasury. Otherwise, that scene with Zandra never happens. And also, when we go to school, then Blue wouldn't be alive. So it all works out. Even though the walkthrough for the game provided by the developer says it doesn't matter if you remove Xandra or Blue from the equation first, you can't actually get Xandra's demise until you've played the game through the first time. So again, we've still got all our endings, but all the game loads have been erased. So, here we go again, and this is where things will get drastically different. First of all, it's a fourth wall breakage sort of thing. Light, you are in a game. Huh? Um, that was weird. You are in a game. The game just reset. I'm in a ga I'm in my room. Speak with your voice, not your thoughts. Speak with my voice? Wait. Oh, I'm in a game? Yes, it's coming back to me. Oh, God, thank you. What was your name again? I have to type this out twice. You know, you should never pick up a date if a girl you're dating will forget your name the first time. Right, I'm sorry I forgot. Please, Flair, I need your help. I know this might be so sudden, but I've been... I've never been in this game. I'm not sure... I'm not supposed to be here. Now, I would love it if I could talk back and forth with you, but unfortunately, the game hasn't made choices for you. I will do my best, however, to make you able to talk. I'll make the choices for you. How does that sound? That sounds like a very, 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 very good idea. Wonderful. Here's the point of it. I was... I don't remember. The only thing I remember was being with my friends. Blue and Xandra. Blue and Xandra aren't a part of a game. They were both just like me. However, the game washed up their heads so much to the point where they don't remember anything. I'm sure you've already noticed, but I'm the only one who's still clinging to reality. I know this might be too much, but you must help me. Every player that has played, ever played this game failed to get me out, but I feel you might be the one. I have no clue how we can start trying, but I will try to give you enough help. Will you help me? Well, we've only got one choice in that matter. Thanks! I'm sorry for only giving you one choice, but you must get me out. God knows what Mama Dad must be thinking now. Their daughter just disappears. 
No one will ever find me if I don't get out. Same goes for Blue and Zandra. Anyhow, the game will constantly try to shut me up whenever I go off script. But now that I know where I am, I will remember. Whenever I speak to you, I will speak with my voice. I realise the game focuses more on my thoughts, so it won't notice me going off scripts like this. But still, we have to be careful. I don't want to be reset again. Okay, for now, I will stick to the script. I will play along. I already know what to expect. I will go back to the dialogue now. I hope you're ready. And the game proceeds onwards. Wake up. Um, doesn't matter either way. Hey, Flair. As much as I hate it, I know you don't want to go through the same script again line by line. So, you can actually skip through the script that you already saw. I can see the button there. You can do that. And the game should stop you before you the unseen stuff. Can you do that? I hate having to go through this stuff again. The button will be clickable now. Okay, so I'm gonna I'm gonna not edit this part out. I'm just gonna let you see, but I will be skipping through a lot of the game until we get to the stuff of seems, but we haven't seen. Okay, blue. Okay, flare. Do you reckon that blue's dead body is still here? I think the G word won't erase her death. G word being game, by the way. I hope this doesn't mean we are limited to the times of replay. We need to be careful. We've got one shot at this. We must not let Xandra or Blue die again. The death of Rupert, Treasury and Ivan isn't meaningful. They're just scripts. But the death of real people, I'm sure it won't reflect out... I'm sure it won't reflect well once we're out. My voice is distorted just like the game is. There she is. I know the game. I know the G word will notice me talking like this. But there she is. Blue. She is my friend in real life. She loves me so much and cares a lot about so many things. She's always been happy. I know you, Flair, will be an even better friend. We can't let her die. So, we have to record Treasury's voice again. Which means staying behind at school rather than just simply going home immediately. Hey, so I wanted to tell you something. Um, never mind. Okay, if you've got something to say, you can say it. It's fine. No, no, it's nothing. All right. I'll see you soon then, in class or in here. I oh, know you don't. You don't have to say anything. She doesn't need to know, and convin convincing her won't help. She's already been always been stubborn. We'll have to find our own out, and then we can deal with that. Make sure you choose the option to stay in school, so we can have Treasury's voice. Then we'd have secured Blue's safety. I know. It's Xandra. Again. I turned my blurred vision to see who it was. Indeed it is Xandra. Xandra killed herself back then, remember? It was because I killed her dad to save Blue. I know it could have got, I could have gone into prison instead, but that's not real. There's no prison. I can only be stuck on a looping script. But, sorry, G-word. But G-word wants me to play along, so... I guess if we want to prevent her demise, then we need to be close to her. She's very sensitive. Choose the option that will make her live, sing, love me from the get-go. So that option, ladies and gentlemen, we have to follow through this exactly. Otherwise, the best ending, the hidden ending, will not play out. So, in this context, it would be that we will need to wipe her face myself. I'll pull out a tissue from my pocket and walk close to her. What do you... Stay still. Nah. 
I start to brush the tissue against her forehead, which felt warm. Well, felt too warm. She doesn't seem to want to look at me, even though there is really nothing to be awkward about. But maybe she feels this way because she can't believe how a person that she used to mildly bully is being nice to her. But the time she was bullying me feels so distant now, as I can truly feel a strong bond here. The light? It's alright, I'm about done. Her eyes still avoid me, and the look of shame is growing on her face. What could have made her stop being a bully? Is it something unbelievable? I collect all of the red blood I, I saw in my tissue with one last wipe and now she looks perfect. Although there is still some red left behind. Xandra smiles and looks almost too happy. Thank you, I... I'm truly grateful. It means a lot to me that you would do this, especially after all I did to you. It was nothing, really. All you did was shove me sometimes. It isn't like you totally ruined that much of my life. I still feel weird. You are the nicest person I've ever met, and I can never forgive myself what I used to do. You are awesome. You are definitely not the loser I used to call you. And I wish you achieve your dreams. That's a lot of praise. You don't need to feel weird at all. I'm still not that special. You are special a lot. And I guess all I can say is, maybe we can just start over. I mean, yesterday was fun. Really? Absolutely. It was a really fun day, and I look forward to more. Oh, that's cool. I'll see you after class, Ben. I'll see you too. Gotta go. Good. You're doing well, Flair. She liked that. You might just be the player I need. You and I can outsmart the G-word. The G-word being game. I'm sure of it. Okay, now, where were we? Oh, yes, yeah, scene treasury. So, you need to stay. Otherwise, we will not be able to prevent Blue's demise. Otherwise, we would never have treasury's fi sound file. No. We can just skip past. Go on, do it. Yes. We did do so. Although I wish I clicked on skip before because we've already done this bit. But it never hurts to see a little bit of static on the screen. Stop. Uh, no game. You will be the one that will be next. Sort of like it reminds me of Fatal 12 visual novel where you elected player number 13 and the 13th one was the person who is reigning over supreme of the dream world. Is my dead body still here? I guess. It feels surreal. I know you need me to go to the very loud option. It's okay. I'll endure it. This isn't the first time. I hope it's not too worrying anyways. Click on skip and then... This will hurt. Don't worry about me, okay? I'll be fine. Yes. Skip through this flare. Don't make me endure it again. Get moving. None of this will prevent your fate. I have no clue who this woman is. The G word probably thinks that I would believe she's my mother. I know she isn't. We have to be careful, Flair. How are you feeling, honey? And stuff like that. Stiff like the auto cape. Stiff. I have to click that anyways. I'll be a polite sport. Did the script just make me say that? Ugh. This looks weird. Come on, let's move for it. It's making me uneasy. Lou 
Chile. But you were deleted it. Oh, well. If this is real life, no one would care. Meh. Oh, this bit. This bit is annoying. Can we move past it? Indeed. We've already been through this part, so you can just watch part two of... Yeah, part two of my Let's Play. Are you, are you going to make me get her? I don't care, really. But the G word might have some sort of relationship system we might need to worry about. So try to focus on relationships. I... Uh, okay. So... We will need... I don't think that there is any influence on this part. But there is a flower factor in the classroom. I'm going to just say this just in case, in case this is a influential part of it all. The difference between getting it and not getting it. Um... I don't remember which one it would be. Never mind. I'll always be here for you. It's a quick ride. I won't ever let you go off alone. You're my friend. And all you used to do is in the past. Thank you, Lola. <laughs> You're ever so welcome. So, I'll see you tomorrow. Certainly. Indeed. Did the colour of the flower change? Yes, there's a flower. Do you see the windowsills? And on the second windowsill, there is a pot of flowers. Well, it used to be a different set of colours, but now it's purple. Hey, flower. I think the flower changes colour based on what my relationship with my friends are. I've noticed three colours so far. Bled, uh, blue, red, and purple. Blue and Xandra and even do you notice something else did you, did you notice something else do you think there's a different color yes i thought so too maybe if the relationship is even something yeah maybe bleh. maybe if the relationship is even something else will happen but you word has given us clues to escape we need to figure them out i'll come up with an idea to try an even relationship and you again you creepo I don't want to see you anymore, but unfortunately that is going to be the thing that will do the thing. These choices. Do we have to do relationships somehow? Maybe picking purples would be a good one for Xandra. And we go through all this. Now if you notice throughout the entire game, Volia, um, Low Knight's supposed mother, talks in a way that makes you think that she is some sort of manipulator of the game. Because when she asks about how is Blue or Xandra much earlier on in the game, you can get the idea that she does a bit of thinking. And she, I think, in that thinking, she scrolls through the files of the game and sees like the emotional status of the character. So she is probably somehow the game itself. Hey Flair, I figured out a way so that we have full control over the relationship system. Now this is another really, really important factor here. We need to focus on making them even for now. The game wasn't very careful with all of these resets, so it left a big bug behind. I can move around the script file so I can check the class room for the flower whenever. And I can actually contact Blue and Xandra when I need to increase the relationship with either one. However, contacting isn't really contacting, it's more just me adjusting the code. Let's test it, shall we? We should check the classroom first to see where the relationship is. Our goal now is to even it somehow. So, rather than it being purple for Xandra or blue for... No, purple for Xandra and blue for blue, we need to make it red so that it's low light. Okay, so visit the classroom first. All right, let's visit the classroom. Okay, this is the color we have. This means the relationship is higher with Xandra. 
So we need to keep increasing it with blue until it gets to red. Okay, hi, it was Andrew, so we need to do it again. Oh, I didn't mean to do that the third time. Okay, but it's still higher with Zandra. Still again with Zandra. Click again. Go to this. Still again with Zandra. We made good choices with Zandra. This means, huh? It's even, yes, because the colors are now red. They, you noticed before they were purple. They're red now. Alright, nice. I wonder if this will do something in the future. Alright, I'm going back home now. Yes. Do nothing and go back to script. Here we go. The ASMR therapy. We'll pick Xandra's. The light. What is it, Zandra? I want to ask you, since you've been so nice to me and since you have forgotten me, uh, forgiven me, sorry, for all I did to you, would you, would you like to visit me at my house sometime, someday? Well, of course I would love to. Of course I would love to. How could I say no to you? And knowing what you are going through, I can't ever let you deal with anything alone. So, whenever you need me, just ask. I'll be there to say yes. Sandra's eyes shine from tears that had started to collect under her eyelids. She brings the back of her hand to wipe them and look back at me. Thank you very much. You're really the best friend I've ever had. Don't mention it. Just doing my job. <laughs> I'm happy to say that. See that. Anyhow, I don't want to take much of your time, but I'll talk to you soon about meeting up. I'll see you very soon, Lola. Me too. I'll see you next week. Zandra now matters to me more than anything. I better take responsibility. She also sees me as this hope of some sort. I don't know what it is that she's going through, but I've got to leave a good impact. Don't hurt me. Oh, hopefully this will be the last time I ever see this Rupert character. I touch the stuff that makes sound only. That's the option. Well, that's the only option that we can do to proceed through the game. Well, before the snooze script, I should let Flair decide on doing something again. All players, before you had made the option to uneven relationship, it's always end up in a loop of resets. I don't want that. Leave. So, level for relationships, okay? Yes, boss. We're going to call Lowlight boss now. So, visit the classroom. So, it's going to be purple. So, we need blue. I think we've only made one decision, but we're going to increase it a second time as well, just in case. That is still higher with Zandra. So I'm going to click it twice again. Visit the classroom. Still with Zandra. So click again with blue. Click again with blue. Right there, red. Excellent. That means it's now evened. Good enough. Alright, I'm going back home now. Do nothing, go back to script. It's just staff points. I'm not playing along with Flair. This feels horribly wrong. Yes. It is very wrong. But the fact that you recorded a knife, um audio means that the audio of the knife is then transferred into a physical matter with 
low I've forgotten her name now, low late superpower. Wouldn't we'll know what that transpires. Oh okay. Flair. I just realized something with Xandra when Xandra ran away from Flair, I just realized something when Xandra ran away back at school. Like I already told you, she is a sensitive person, and saving her from herself will be tricky. We have secured Blue's safety by recording Treasury's voice, but killing him would put Xandra in depression. If we try to talk to her into believing she's in the game, and that Treasury isn't real, she might finally break out off the script. Then we can both go to Blue and try to convince her as well. That sounds like a plan. Although in order to convince her, I need to make her like me the most. But we still need to maintain the level relationship of the Red Flower. Though, I'm still not sure what it will do. How about this? We focus on keeping the Purple Flower until before we kill Treasury. And when it's time, we will bring back the Red Flower. If nothing changes, then... Then at least we tried. The game will result, sorry, res reset and we'll do something else. Please, Flair. I really have no clue what to do. Can you please, please save me? I know you're smart. You can figure it out. Maybe there's a clue outside of a game. In the real world. I just, I don't want to relive all this trauma over and over. It's hellish. I will stop talking like this to you all the time. The game might realise and reset me for good. It has taken my voice already. And all that's left is for me to type out a script to you. I will minimise this interaction. I'll pave a way for you. You will do what's right. I believe anyways. Flair? Hmm? The game is doing something. I feel weird. Save me. Internet. Yep, the game is making you play the role. Ah. Yes, a new option arise. Lolite, are you with me? It's Flair. Oh my god! Oh my god! Flair, you're still here! I knew adding that choice there would help. I think the game reset me once more, hence why I've been acting weird. I'm back on it again. Phew, this chapter is close to the ending. We need to focus. Um, we said we would convince Zandra, but we need to make her like me more. Let's do that. Mm, indeed we shall. It's fine. Alright, leave this to me. I know Zandra in real life. And she's always bullied me. But she eventually became aware of all the pain she caused. So right now, she's looking for someone who cares a lot. Let's go for the boldest option. Let her know I love her. Send a text of choice. Well, maybe send her a quick lovely text will help. Perhaps she'll love it more knowing it's from me. I pull out my phone and search for Zandra. There she is. What kind of text does she need? Hey, love her. Are you okay? We miss you, Z. Are you coming to school? You were so cute last time. I hope you're okay now. Actually, not a text. No, we're gonna do. I love you. Hmm. Maybe this text is a bit too much. It's not. This is it. Send it. Yeah, it's what she needs. Exactly. You go, Flair. You're the best. You do it. You go, Flair. No, it's what she needs right now. Someone who loves her. There. I hope I just didn't sign a contract of awkwardness and I walk into the classroom after closing my phone. I really hope this has an effect on her. It shall do that. She ran at me and pulled me into a tight embrace. Out! Hey! Thank you. Thank you for feeling that way towards me. She let go. Your text, it, it warmed my heart. 
I'm so glad I could have a friend as bold as you. Someone who could say something like that so stupidly. It means everything. It really does. Well, I'll always be there to be stupid for you. Just know that I truly mean it. I actually meant it. I really do love you. Haha. <laughs> You're... I'm glad one more person loves me even. Loves me then. I feel like I had done something powerful just now. This might change everything. I will see you. Do you want to visit me tomorrow? I'll consider it. Thanks. It means a lot. I really look forward to it. See you. Wait. Before you go, I had something to tell you. I'm, um... Sandra, do you remember when you last saw your mum? Huh? Sandra, I'm going to say something very serious right now. You, me, Blue, we aren't here. What do you mean? Do you remember the coffee shop Blue invited me and you to? Yes, it was Sunday. We were going to have our first meetup. Okay, try to remember when it was. It, it was, it, wait, oh, the light? Wait, what the hell? We never went there. Someone stopped us. They sprayed something in our faces and we were all, we were here all of a sudden. Wait, you. Oh my god. Ma. Ma. What are you trying to do? You realize these are all fictional characters? They're trying to make you break the script files. That's illegal, you know. You could get caught and thrown into prison if you tried to even let them out. You'd be sabotaging the game. The developer will hear of this. Your actions will be reported if they remain consistent. Please, abide by the rules. Stop letting her plague your mind. She says she is real. This character is trying to ruin you. Play the game fair. The game never made it a chance for you to save anyone. Hence why you won't be saving anyone anymore. The game will now initiate a permanent fix that should keep the character look like Umra in check. You will load up at the next save. You won't hear from her again. Mr. Hey, are you streaming my gender game? How dare- I'm joking. Mr. Player. Do you agree to never engage in dialogue that could create a reaction from Lurlite Ermra? Well, we're gonna have to click with I agree to, but we're just gonna click to I don't agree for now. Because we can't. Okay, I agree. The game will now continue. Enjoy! I'm pretty sure I will. So you're thinking that this may actually ruin things. Far from it, actually. The next day is here, and we'll just skip through all this. I swear. It was the stairs. I must have been very sleepy. It's nothing too serious. It'll go away soon. Bruises from, um... What if, like, she's been dishonest? Or maybe I'm acting pu I'm actually pushing it too much. Either way, I sigh let her know that it'll be okay. Well, sorry about it. I hope it clears up quick. Does it feel like anything? Well... It certainly feels warm. Not exactly painful. I'm glad. The mark should be gone by tomorrow, if you apply something cold to it. I'm no doctor, but it could work. Thanks for the advice. I'll try tonight at home. By the way, would you like to come visit me tonight? It would be fun. I'll see about it. I've got to talk to Zandra first. Alright, glad to hear it. I'll see you after class. She leaves in a hurry. I feel bad for her. Imagine to pay a visit to her soon. Leave the answer and give, give it, giving it a quick glimpse. What was a classroom and sees Andrew enter before me. She kissed her palm and blew it in my direction before entering, giving me a silly smile. That sent a slight tingle up my neck. Eek! Does she really love me that way? Or was she joking? I'm so happy about yesterday. What you, what you did meant a lot to me. Thanks, Lola. And about your text last time. I appreciate that more. Even if you didn't mean it in that way. 
I'm so happy that there's someone who would be so bold as to say something so strong. Especially after how we used to hate each other. By the by, I wanted to ask you. Have you seen Blue? I mean, maybe she didn't want you to know. Know what? I will tell you, but you shouldn't let her know that you know. She might hate me for it. It's fine. You see, remember Ivan, the boyfriend she said she was going to date? Yes. The thing is, he's behind these bruises. Oh, no. I can see it in your face. Don't worry, she won't date him any longer. She's fine. She isn't being stalked or anything. Why didn't she tell me? Oh, come on. This is Blue we're talking about. You know how she's always very secretive about everything. And besides, this isn't your fault. She didn't tell you. I know you. You care about her so much. You've been her old friend since forever. Maybe that's why she didn't tell you. She didn't want to upset you. I... I get it. I wish she told me herself. I feel like I should help somehow. Mm, I just want to meet this guy and do something. But that's... I think that's you. Oh, <laughs> Thanks, I guess. Uh, could you do me a favor? I... I don't want to lose you. Not when... Not when I need you. At first I thought Blue would be the one to worry like this. But I must mean a lot to you, Zandra, as well. I didn't expect this. Hey, you shouldn't feel like that. I'm not going anywhere. And I'm certainly not going to dip. I believe that. Thank you for making me feel safer every day. I will see about getting you the phone number. Thanks, Z. I owe you so much. So, will you be coming to my house this night? I really would love for you to visit me. Yeah, I would love to, but I must make, first make sure. The, but I must, must first must check on things to see if it's possible. You know, I can't just say one thing over another. Okay, so we have to visit Zandra. It is required. Mhm. Mm I'm sure of it. Yes. I didn't mean to skip past all that. But this room feels cold. You really think it's nice? Yeah, definitely. It's the kind of room that I'd like. Do you see that on the desk? Do you see the body there? It's very faint, but it is there. I like how it's very small and cozy. I'm happy to hear you say that. And it would be very nice if you were to plan on staying for the night. I would love it if you stayed. By the by, I'm not even that enthusiastic about small rooms. I've always wanted things to be less closed and more limitless. But I admire your way of thinking too. So, now that you're here, I have to give you a warm welcome. I read to know what does she imply? How about some tea? Oh, sure, I'd like tea. How do you like it? Sugar free? Lots of sugar! You're just like me then. We connect. All right, why don't you wait there? She points to the bed. Why the bed of all places? What is she trying to do? Sure, I'll be here. Zandra runs downstairs. After she asked me to sit on the bed, I decided not to, and instead continued around the room. Zandra's got a very unorganized room, but I couldn't complain. I like rooms like this. Hmm? I just realized, the desk, has, well, the desk she has is the same as mine. Weird. But I'm sure this desk isn't a isn't the rarest thing in the world. It's just a freaky coincidence. I wonder if she's got the number I asked about her asked her about already. I waited for a long time before Zandra came back. So sorry, I didn't mean to be this late. I just had to redo it once because I filled the cup with water. That's fine. <laughs> you weren't that long. Phew, awesome. Here's your cup. She hands me a steaming cup of tea. The tea was very dark. It probably tastes a little bad. Ugh. But what can I say? I don't think it will taste bad. Why don't we talk about stuff? You know, that desk is the same as mine. Really? And we went on to speak about various stuff for a long time. A very long time. You know the conversation that um, Lilith and Xandra were having just before... The sound is toxic.exe interfered. That was actually a conversation that happened not in the game but in real life. So all these three friends 
their friends in the, their friends in the real world. Treasury Ivan and Lowlight's supposed mother in this game are all script things. Just to let you know that. This was fun, Light. I never had as much fun in such a long while. But my question is, what was the purpose of them being sucked into this scenario in the first place for? So my visit wasn't in vain. No, it's the best. I smile. Hey, by the way, have you found out the number? I spoke with Blue. She was hesitant at first, so she should text it, send it in the, in the morning. Although I do worry about why you would need this in the first place. I know I won't pressure you into saying anything. Just know that I worry. Oh no. Hey, Sandra. She went to check the time clock next to her room's door. You're really late. She will leave you. Oh, you scared me. Aren't you scared? It's fine. She won't kill me. Sure, she'll be a tad annoyed. Well, should you go back? No. This is another requirement. We need to have a sleepover. How about a sleepover instead? Really? You want to sleep here? Yes, it could be fun. And tomorrow we can go to school together. Are you sure you want to do this? Oh, come on. Are you trying to discourage me? Hmm? I'm just overwhelmed in a way. I didn't expect you want to sleep at mine today. Thank you for wanting to do this. Although I don't know if you're planning on... Don't try it. Haha. <laughs> I'm not sure if I would want that. What are you talking about? Nothing. Just know that I'm not... Wait. Oh my god. She thinks I want to... Oh, no, 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 no. That's not it at all. <laughs> all right. <laughs> I know I shouldn't be this word, but the reason is because... Well, there isn't another bed. So if you're still serious about the sleepover, we're going to be sharing the bed behind me. That's fine. I won't try anything stupid. You can trust me. I don't do that either. Thanks. You're welcome. So, I should message my mum and let her know. You're right. I should tell Dad as well. Xandra walked away and grabbed her phone. This night will be different than usual, but I know it'll be fun. After a long while of readying up bed, talking to Mom, and eventually making up my mind, I slipped into the small bed where Zendra giggled as she tried to find the right spot. I was very nervous at this point, leaning out onto the edge and almost falling off. It was an adorable moment, if I could say so, and Zandra seemed to enjoy it. But then she asked me, but when she asked what I feared she would, Is it okay if I hold you? It's nothing like you would think it is, I promise. I just want to feel safe. I've always been a scared little baby. <laughs> this is very serious as well. We need to click. Yeah, sure. If we don't click this, then the happy ending will not happen. Yeah, sure. I moved a little close to her face. I instantly ha hear her breaths. I didn't know what to expect. Was she about to... Me? I, I need this. She buried her head underneath mine. And I could feel her breaths against my neck. Just when I thought she was going to do something weird, I realised that she actually wants to feel safe. Though, I can feel some wetness coming from her face. Are you crying? You have no idea how much... How much... She then breaks into tears. I can feel the warmth of her face as she cried in cried calmly. I'm sorry. Hey, hey. It's okay. I understand. Uh, I wanted to do that. I wanted to do that like I did to you back then. I can never forgive myself. It's okay, Sandra. I forgive you. You shouldn't think about this stuff. She continued to cry into the night. This feels sad for me. I guess Sandra really needs me. I hug her harder as I doze off into sleep after her cries fade out, leaving a dry puddle of dried up tears on my shirt. God damn it. Hmm. I'm surprised I'm still holding her in that hug. 
She was smiling her sleep, a very cute and innocent smile. I'm happy that I was able to do something so powerful as to make her happy. That smile, I've never seen it. It's genuine. After I watched with some beam entering the room, I woke Xandra up and told her that we should be going to school. Huh? What time is it? School time, as much as I hate to say it. Ugh. Alright. She looked at me and smiled. And then we got, and then got to ready up. We then went to school. Oddly, her dad wasn't there to see us. He's always been like this. It's fine. It's just work. Xandra told me that she was going to get something real quick. And so here I am, waiting for her. Though she's taken way longer than she should. Hey, the light. Uh, last night was rough, huh? How would you mean to make you go through it? Oh, that's fine. You know I'd let you cry. <laughs> Fantasy's gone wild. <laughs> so, Blue got me the number. The color of the flower at class was purple. Not that it matters or anything, but I was sure the color was different before. But there was something else that I found odd about it. Not sure if anyone else noticed it, but the flower was blooming purple. It was almost magical. But I thought it was only the vibrancy of the colour. I went home after the last period. <laughs> you keep on doing this, don't you, man? This will be the last time that this will transpire, Treasury. You will die and you will be entombed within your own script. Okay, this is important as well. We are going to once again balance out the relationship with Xandra and Blue. Choice one is check the classroom floor. The second option is call Blue. Third option is call Xandra. Well, when I say that, it just increases their friendships. And the fourth one is just go to the the script. So we need to ensure that the text or the... Relationship is red. So the only clue we've got here is the colour of a piece of text. So we've got purple. So I'm going to click this a few times. See how it is now. Still purple, okay. So that's the seventh time we clicked on it. Still purple. Good, it's red. So we only need to click on the fourth option now. And that will send us back to the script. Kill treasury so now we are going to proceed through now and then we can do it <laughs> we are now en route to the happy ending of the game excellent where am i hello the light wake up huh what xandra yes Yes, shh. You're fine. I cannot see. Why? The game is over. You did it. We're free. What? Where are... Yes. Blue? Is that you? Yes, it's me. We have survived. We, know, we now know. We have been placed in this game, haven't we? And you were trying to get us out. What happened? When you were talking to Blue... This dark figure rushed from behind you and hit you in the head. It managed to get away, but it was still in shock from it. We think it may come back. I think this is what's keeping us here. How do we deal with it? I'm not sure, but we need to keep a lookout in case it comes back. I think it wants Lola. What? It wants me? You've been ruining the script of the game. It now wants to delete you and reset. We can't let that happen. So... We're staying here. Where am I? You're in. You hear that? Yeah. Leave her alone. And 
The devil itself has appeared. Valia. Lolite's supposed mother. And definitely the antagonist of this tale. And the creator of it as well. Why won't you stop? Huh? Valia. Why won't you stop ruining this? Ruining what? Lolite. Deary. I know you are very frustrated, but you have to believe me. Just once. Can you do that? What do you want? You are not in a game. Stop this nonsense. I am. I know I am. And my friend here is helping me out. Indeed we are helping them out. What friend? I don't see them. I don't know you. I don't know anything about you. You aren't my mother. Remember when you were a child? Remember that car accident you were saved from? What is going on? Hey, get out of my head! Lolight Omra was between my arms. You were between my arms. No! But of course, you were very young. How would you remember? Lolight, honey, I am your mother. You must believe me. This game, this game is seriously annoying me! Leave my head instantly. Flair, help me. End her somehow. She isn't what she proclaims to be. End her. End her. Your friend seems convinced. Even your friend thinks you are the wrong one here. Am I wrong, Flair? No, you're not, Lolite. Good. Seems my friend is thinking otherwise. I know you are a script. You are only a script. I am real. Lolite? How could you let your mother go like this? How? Sh shut it. Flair, do something. I... Delete her. Please, somehow. You can't do it. I won't let this happen. I'm not a file. I am real. I am real. Stop it. Stop it or I'll kill you. You would kill me? Your daughter? You can't die just like me. You can do... do, do, do. Then we can be together. We can finally be together. Why do you torment me? I've seen nothing but deaths ever since I was in this game. It's your thoughts, honey. It's your feelings. You are like this. I want to leave, Mum. Please. I don't want this. Ben. I have to. I'm sorry. Stoop! No! Flee! Help me! And as for you, you can get out. No, I reappear. You will die with me. I will do no such thing. Please the light. Wait, who is that? <coughs> Where are you? Come out. The light? Drop that knife now. Drop it. Ah, the sound file. Comes back into play then. He he he. Sound is toxic. Exe is corrupted. happening now Viola. Before something else happens, you have to do one last thing. Since the master is dead, I can now do things that I couldn't before. I can create a leak in the scripts. But you will have to agree for it. It's how.
how the game works. Before I do that, though, I must... I must thank you. I don't know how long it's been since I was trapped here. It must have been ages. Every player that has ever tried to get me out got into trouble or never listened to me. You are the first to actually do it. I wish I could hug you right now and thank you in person. No. You finally broke the cycle. I wish I knew. I wish I hoped for a little longer that someone good will finally get me out. There's no time. I will leave the last action to you. Go ahead. Accept. Well, you can accept or you can decline. Both will lead to the same outcome, inevitably. But if you click accept, then there's going to be something else involved as well, regarding the replayability of the game. And to um, prevent yourself from uh, not being able to play the game again, because if you click accept and go through the credits, it will come up with the same access backup files, but it says it can't find them. So what you'd have to do is go into your app data folder if you're on Windows and then go to RIMP, then go to Sound as Toxic and delete all of the files from there, set the folder. Then go to the games folder, wherever you put it, and then click, sorry, and then remove a persistent file from there. And then that will reset everything. Because even if you remove the actual download file itself, like if you, if you remove the... Um, the folder that the game resides in and then re-extract it. Even if you do that, it will still come up with that backup file because the persistent file still works within your computer. So I'm going to click accept and just go for it from here. Thank you so much. If I could just meet you in person, if I could... Not defined. <laughs> if I could blank. Enjoy the real world. Enjoy it. So thank you very much to everyone who has been watching Sound is Toxic. I hope this guide has been somewhat useful for you in any ways and of course entertaining as well. Please write your thoughts down in the comments below about what you thought of this game. I think it's very well made. Very good as well. A very nice story to it with a lot of dark and suggestive topics but tackles real life stuff as well but this is a very nice game it goes through a lot of emotional roller coasters especially from the point of um, will you agree to accept these terms and conditions to play the game but then again even if you don't agree to them you still get an ending but i believe that yep and all the characters are static up because if you click decline None of these uh, portraits will be static, stat have a s static on it with it because this is the game and anything that's blurred out is no longer in the game. So therefore our characters have escaped and therefore they are now in the real world. Supposedly, hypothetically, in the real world. Because if you click decline, then everything resets back to what it was. I mean, it would be like nothing ever happened. But this is a really nice game, a marvelous game. And to all the people who are involved within the creation of this game, thank you so much for making it because this is truly an excellent marvel to play. Thank you. Scripters encounters a fatal error. And the reason why this won't um, reset is because, technically, because the rebuild files don't exist, because sound is toxic.exe is no longer there. And the reason why it's no longer there is because we broke the cycle and we didn't decline, because if we declined, then that sound is toxic.exe e file won't be removed so that's why i keep saying this and what i said earlier about how to fix this i suggested earlier but i'll say it again is to delete the persistent files in both the app data rimp sound is toxic.exe 
folder and from the games folder itself wherever you put it within your computer so that wraps up everything folks so thank you so much for watching please put down in the comments below what you thought about this game whether you liked it what you thought could be improved but thank you so much to everyone who has watched it and hopefully the endings guide for the 10 original endings or the 10 endings that are within the game before getting the secret ending is somewhat worthwhile if you've struggled yourself and i have struggled as well the only two that i could not manage to get is the first ending and the third ending i think those two are the most difficult but i think the others should be pretty good as well well not completely re reworded that incorrectly they're they're quite simple to get to because they're choice based decisions so there we have it but with two of them they're they're time based and the other one is just quitting the game before anything happens and it can only happen if you haven't played the game before so it's like extracting it for the first time and playing it for the first time then quitting the game as soon as it says um the first piece of text but anyways folks i'm gonna wrap it off from here and see you all in the next video have a wonderful day and take care of yourselves.